so we went to Ekahi, so and I remember we were drinking and I was drunk and Gambus again at Do you love me? Oh, and get hand and na. school champion of the winning team men of high integrity from the highest towers of society hi guys welcome back to another video i feel so nervous shooting without some but anyways um welcome to another video my name is leto and the name of the channel is leto and umbulelo <laughs> is letter and umbulelo and if you have not subscribed as yet please do so just click the subscribe button it's free you will not be charged they will not steal your ad time or anything like that um anyways today we are doing i don't know what's the name of today's video anyway um i'm not sure if it's a challenge but it's a it's a couple's quiz just to see um how well do we know each other or do we know our relationship yeah so umbulelo shot from a different location i'm also shooting from a different location so that we do not influence um each other's answers so without um wasting any more time oh first let me just explain uh we have a couple of questions that we have drafted together and then we're just going to answer those questions just to see how well do we know each other so without wasting any more of your time let me just get right into it okay so how did we start? how did the relationship start we have a video actually that talks about um we're just going to link it up as well so that you, you can check it out how we how we met there's a full story though but I was told that I need to be brief, guys. Um, so, how did the, the relationship start? We met, we met at Fitz. Um, we told it was with her friend. And then, I mean, we were in the library and I was walking in. It was very early in the morning. We had, we had exams, we had final exams in November. So, as I was walking in, I saw the friend was looking and then blah, 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 that whole thing. So, when they went out of the library, I obviously approached them um, just to, to strike a... A convo but then she was she was very quiet and the, the friend was the one who was talking and I was I was talking to her but then one thing I noticed was that she was just sitting there acting all innocent and she she was just yeah she wasn't saying anything and that made me more curious but then when I when I took the numbers I took both their numbers so that obviously I didn't want to lose and then um, Later on, I was like, okay, let me test, uh, text both, like after the exam, like later on in the same day, let me text both these girls, and then she was actually the one that, that replied first. I was very surprised, I was like, well, the one who was all innocent and not saying anything, um, guarantee, she's, it's like she's been waiting for it, and then I texted her, and then the friend texted a bit later. So, and we were already vibing, you know, she was there, I was like, oh, this girl, actually. So yeah, that's, that's how it started, and then, the following day, um, which was on a Saturday, I went to I went to visit her, and then she she cooked for me. Um, I think it was beef stew and pap. No, not pap. Rice. <laughs> it was rice and beef stew. Yeah. So after that, I was like, okay. I mean, if she can cook for me on the virtually, it was like a, so our first day meeting. It was the other day. She wasn't. She didn't say much. So yeah, that's how it started. It started by her cooking for me. I think the relationship started when Ombolelo decided to send me a message on WhatsApp. We met on Friday, he took my numbers, and then same day he decided to send me a WhatsApp message and then I replied and I invited him over for lunch. I offered to cook for him. I know yes, I did offer to cook for him and I cooked and I think that's how the relationship started. What do I think Leto's impression of me was? She thought I was a loud mouth. She thought I was, I was overconfident as well. Because I mean, I'm, when I approached them, I, I, I had so much confidence and, and there were two of them and I, was, I didn't even know them. So I just approached them and I just I said, excuse me ladies, can I just holler at you for a second? So she thought I was overconfident and um, I didn't stop talking. As, 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 as I was there, I kept on talking 
to the friend and obviously like she was just quiet. I tried to talk to her like on a few occasions and then she just didn't really give me the time of day and I think that's what actually made me want her even more, the fact that she wasn't saying much, you know, so yeah, that was her first impression of me was that I talk a lot and she still does think that I talk a lot actually. <laughs> was that he is not Zinzi's type. Zinzi was the friend that I was with when I met Sumbulelo and they were talking non-stop so I was like this is definitely not Zinzi's type. Um, I was also um, under the impression that he talks a lot um, because yeah, they just didn't stop talking. They were talking non-stop about everything, about Bioplus, Exam Hall, Hall 29 and everything. So they were talking a lot and I was also under the impression that he he's confident because you know he approached two girls. I mean not a lot of people can do that. So yeah, he he seemed confident. What did I what was my first impression of Little? I just thought she was innocent and she yeah, she wasn't impressed at all because she was very quiet, she didn't want to talk to me. So I just thought she was one of those girls, she was sorted, she, was, she wasn't she was interested and I just thought she was, I, I, I thought she was kind of cute, even though like oh, obviously she wasn't talking so I, I, I thought, um, yeah, we are, we are swarm here in a way, I, I just thought she was full of herself in that way because she didn't want to talk to me, which is why I ended up wanting her. Yes. Um, his first impression of me was that I'm boring and quiet. Actually, he didn't even see me because the entire time he was just busy talking with my friend. So I think, yeah, he didn't see me. He thought I was boring and quiet until the following day when I invited him over for lunch. What do I think she likes about me? What do I think she likes about me? I think she likes my um, sense of humor um, and she likes my kindness. I, I, I think she, 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 she likes that I'm, I'm very kind and like I'm very kind-hearted. I think she likes the fact that I've got a very close relationship with God. I'm, I'm a God-fearing man as I stand here and I think she also I like what, what else she, she likes about me. She likes the fact that I've got goals and ambition. I think, yeah, I mean, it's one of those she has to like. So I think <laughs> at least one of those she likes about me. Um, what I like about Mbulelo is that he cares about people. He cares about people. Um, you know, like. If you have ever been a passenger on, on, on Mulelo's car, you'd know he wants to know what's going on with your life, are you well, he checks up on people and he listens. When you talk to him, he listens. Um, he listens to you, he, just, he doesn't just ask you questions just for the sake of asking you questions or making a conversation. He actually listens to people and he cares and yeah, he, he, he cares about people. What do I like about her? I like her sense of humor. I like her, um, the fact that she's she's actually very God fearing. Like she she, she loves God and she um, she's uh, she's she's kind hearted. She she also she doesn't hold grudges because she like she forgives um, very. She's willing to forgive. She forgives very easily. She's also very smart. Uh, but I mean, she doesn't. That's that's not. She she doesn't break about it. So I like that she's humble as well. She's very humble. Yeah, that's what I like. I think he likes my heart. I think he likes my heart because he he always says I have a good heart. So um, even when someone has done me wrong, I never. Uh, um, I still keep that person in my life, so I forgive easily and he, he, he loves that about me, so I think he really knows my heart at all. No, I don't know. What I do remember though is 
I used to, to tell him not to say I love you to me when we first started dating. I think the first year in 2014, I told him never to say I love you to me because I didn't want to fall for him. I think I was guiding my heart in a way. So I used to say, hi, never say I love you to me because I will never say it back. And then I remember, I, well, your girl started catching feelings. So we went to some pub or a club or something, a cafe, so that's when we used to drink. So we went to a cafe, so, and I remember we were drinking and I was drunk and Gambo's again and he, do you love me? Oh, and it's hand and nah. So yeah, um, I think, well, he said he does love me. Said I love you first. Um, I, I, what, what was her answer? Because I think she actually did say that she loves me. I think she's the one that said she loves me first. Um, if 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 not, she might have tricked me into saying that I love her. Because it actually was after a couple of months. Because we were both when we started out, we were both um, very much holding back. We didn't want to. Uh, we were playing our cards very close to our chest, so we didn't, yeah. So I don't know who said it, but I think it was her. I believe it was her. How was our first date? It was, it was, uh, the first part of our date was, was nice. It was a spur and a rose bank, nothing fancy. She introduced me to a very nice, um, healthy chicken salad at, at Spur. I, at that time I only knew Spur to be serving only like ribs and, and buffalo wings. Then she introduced me to this nice, nice chicken salad. And so it was nice. But then the later part, we also mentioned in our, um, how we met? No, 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 that's not how we met. Our first date. We have a video about our first date, how it, how it went. And yeah, the, the, the later part of that date was a disaster. We went to Liquid Chefs in Rosebank. There was still the Liquid Chefs in Rosebank at that time. It was a club. We went clubbing and it didn't go so well. So yeah, the first part was nice, but the later part, it was a disaster. Our first date... Um, our first date was good and bad. It was good because we, we started at Spur. I think we went to Spur. Yeah, and the conversation was flowing, we were getting along, we were laughing, everything was chill. Until, but I think it was my idea, until we went to a club, I decided that we should go clubbing. So we went to Liquid Chef or something, yeah, Eros Bank. That's when things just like went south. <laughs> Because I wanted to dance with him and he was just sitting there and I was bored, he was bored. Yeah, I know it didn't go well, so it was horrible. But the first part of the date was, was good. Um, what is the one thing that I like about our relationship? I, I think that the one thing I like about our relationship is the friendship that we have. Like we, we I think before any, anything else, we um, we are best friends like we we can we can joke we laugh a lot in our relationship and uh, i like the fact that little has a very good sense of humor like she laughs we, we laugh a lot she makes jokes sometimes even though those jokes can irritate me yet <laughs> when i'm not in a good mood she makes jokes and we we also are very grounded on on the word of god so we do everything together so uh, one thing that i like is um is, is, is our sense of humor, our relationship with God, and also our friendship um, as between us being friends. Yeah, so our friendship. One thing I like about our relationship is the way we do things. I would say we are equally yoked. <laughs> yeah, we are equally yoked um, because you know it's just the way we do things and we also influence each other to do good things um he likes running so we run together we go to church together we both serving a church we like listening to sermons so um 
yeah i like the way we do things and how we always um the way he listens to me when i vent and yeah i just like the way he is with me and the way he loves me okay that's it for today's video if you like the video please make sure you hit the like button comment on the comment section below and subscribe to our channel um and also we are approaching 500 subscribers we are thinking of doing a giveaway we just don't know what to give away yet but if you do have any suggestions please make sure you drop them on the comment section below and we will uh, we'll definitely look into them